Welcome to the Driverpreneur Weekly Webinar, where we drive people happy with Ride Local. Tonight, I'm really excited. Uh, tonight, there's something that's happened over in the past week, which has really uh, gave us a lot of excitement dealing with uh, collectively getting a bunch of drivers in Grand Rapids uh, in a meeting and get them together in order for us to have what we call a driver's round table. It enables us to get together and uh, actually share ideas uh, or problems and issues that maybe we've been experiencing out mm -hmm. in the market. Uh, but a lot of it, it was instrumental for us to decide on pricing. It got us to get together and then show what Uber's charging, what Lyft's charging as far as on the rider platform to see what kind of fares that we have to compete with. Uh, another thing that we're looking into is compensation uh, because it's important to all the drivers together as we collectively bring together is get their viewpoints, their, uh, their opinions as far as how we should have that compensation uh, structure scheduled. Now Dawn's with me right here now uh, and she was in with a round table meeting. Uh, they went really good. I was really shocked how many people were really uh, <laughs> really on fire about it, that they felt like that they could uh, have a voice in not only in order to build up the functions or benefits on our platform, but also have something to say with pricing in the industry. So anyhow, with that being said, that's what we did. We came together, we collectively made some decisions, and that's what this webinar tonight is going to be about. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the decisions that we made in order to make uh, the platform a little bit better. And as I go through this, uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, give your comments down there below. If you notice that you can uh, give your comments, we'll answer them as we go. And uh, as we have questions, we'll answer them. If you, if you have any after the webinar, feel free to give us a uh, shout out uh, with any comments or suggestions. Anyhow, as we move along, we're going into the first thing that we want to look at is, uh, as a collective group is, how to reduce the cost of startup. So how do we take a driver that's going to start driving their platform and treating it more like a business than they will uh, as, a, as an employee? How can they reduce their costs in order to maximize the dollars that they have come in? Now, Don, you and I have talked about it a lot. Maybe you can uh, give some uh, feedback on that as far as the struggles that you have, just trying to reduce your costs in order for you to make a profit on your platform. There's a lot of things that I've been trying different to make more profit. So it, it's tough. You have to really just get out there and you have to hit the pavement. You get as many writers as you possibly can. Um, we have it, the platform up so if someone wants you personally as their driver, they can do that as well. Right. So that that helps as well that, you know, we, you get your own customer base and that's where you make your money. Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense. The other thing that we kind of looked at was how uh, higher hourly, and I'll give an example. I started throwing some figures together and so on and also getting feedback from some of the other drivers in the meeting. And one of the things that we were looking at, how can we get our hourly uh, compensation or hourly fares, how can we maximize that every hourly and then uh, hit the envelope by getting even higher than that. And we looked at it 30 being 30 being mainly the, the threshold that we have to look at. Anything underneath that, I know every time I drive with Uber and just Uber and Lyft, I have a real hard time trying to hit my $20 mark for the hour. It's a really struggle. And sometimes I barely hit it. I hit 17, 18. Uh, and that's one thing that's another issue that a lot of drivers are facing on a regular basis. Don't you agree? I do. And, I, you know, you and I have many times talked about it, how much of not only an issue for us, but also it must be an issue for people, especially when that next ride means them making their rent payment. Right. Right. The other thing is lower costs, lower overall costs on the platform, and that all equates to lower fares for the rider and also higher uh, fares for the driver. Another thing is decision-making ability for us collectively to have a, the ability to make decisions based on things arising or problems that, that we face in the industry. The other thing was webcam for security. And the reason why I threw this on there, because how many drivers at the meeting told us uh, 
that they can't afford one or they're they're looking to save it to get one and so what we did is in order to uh, lessen the, the cost of that we went ahead anybody who drives under the ride local platform then we bridge a relationship with a company where we have an app will not only encourage tipping but also it will give you a way to stream and a customer or a rider could literally put their email address in there and then get it downloaded to the email where they can at least see it if they in every case they ever needed it or just right. wanted to watch what you know themselves in the in the ride or their kids yeah even. right exactly just for an added security All right, now getting into like the ride local when uh, we all sat around collectively, we threw the ideas around. One of the things we do like is the idea of 100% fares and tips, and we mean that by mileage. Every driver on the Uber or Lyft platform is paid by mile of miles in minutes. Uh, obviously, we do the same thing on the miles and minutes. Obviously, uh, because we're a local and because our cost is streamlined more so, we're not trying to look uh, to get everything out of w one area so um, we can still maintain 100 percent fares and tips and then we just minus your credit card processing fees because we take it from the, the rider right and then we distribute it to the driver and then the rider booking fees which is generally it paid is paid not generally it's always paid by the rider you know so it has nothing to do really the driver it's just a rider pays us a booking fee now the credit card processing fees is pretty standard. It covers our the cost to, to the process it, charges. right? The cost to process it, and then the writer booking fees. It helps with app development, future app development, and also the company. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not a lot, but uh, it still maintains the the nice stability where rider the fares becomes uh, cheaper than Uber and Lyft because we are lower. We want to maintain being lower, right. not cheap, but lower in fares. And that enables us not to have any setup fees, no monthly subscription fees, I mean, which is a big deal because that's exactly what we, our platform is based on. And then a free webcam app. So that's actually what we want to do for the driver is have you come in with minimal amount of startup, right? Right out the get. It's pay, almost like pay as you go, so to speak. And that's where the writer booking fees come in. It's almost like pay as you go to do it. Right. Does that make sense? Yep. But in a token, uh, you know, we're transparent. We're showing you exactly every uh, rider on the app when they take a ride. You get to transparency as far as knowing exactly where you're going, how much the ride is as far as fare amount. And uh, that way you know uh, what kind of money you're making. And, I mean, I did it the other day. And just as uh, real easy to do on the ride local platform is – a low, a low amount of fares is $42 for the hour. Now, I know I, I struggle really hard uh, to try to even get $20. And uh, I think mainly because a lot of times you'll, they'll throw those fares in there that are 280 or 320 or 360 And that really doesn't cover uh, even the cost of doing business as far as riding them around. Uh, so one thing nice about the 100% the fees, fees or fares, and we're only taking the credit card processing and the rider booking fees out, that still gives you a double or even sometimes triple amount of fares. But the whole nice thing is we have a platform that the drivers can, and a lot of drivers at the meeting made a big indication, is that they, they, you know, they develop a relationship with a rider, but then they don't see them again. And if they see them again, it's by chance where our platform is to match the rider and driver together. So develop a relationship. Uh, the next thing that we get into is uh, dealing with our current compensation is what we've done, changed it to is we, we're currently paying 85 cents per mile and 25 cents per minute. Now, the reason why uh, we're a little higher on the minute is because a lot of times uh, drivers are caught in traffic or they're waiting on a rider it's not you know it's not the driver's fault but the driver doesn't get compensation for the inconvenience so we up the uh, per minute because some drivers did ex in uh, experience waiting for riders and not really getting compensated for their time we changed the five minute wait time for the rider to a two minute meaning a rider has two minutes to come out to the car if they don't then the 
the time, your 25 cent per minute starts to incur. Uh, that will encourage the rider to be more responsive and uh, on their rides. The other thing we do is we have a $5 charge if the ride is canceled, and that could be on either side. If you're a driver, don't accept a ride unless you're going to take it. If you're a rider, uh, you can cancel all the way up till the driver accepts. Once the driver accepts and is a rider, then there's a $5 charge. Now we're getting to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, one of the things I wanted to uh, kind of like talk about a little bit was uh, what we rolled out as drivers. Now all this was collectively done by, by all of us to in order to establish this, but we decided to come out with uh, an influencer program, you know, how to become an influencer. And we believe everybody can be an influence, whether you're a rider or a driver, or if you just don't never use Ride Local. Uh, one thing you do is you free, receive five dollars cold cash to in, to invite to ride, or a two hundred dollar cold cash to invite to drive. Now these are cold cash. The reason why we speak of cold cash because it can be done in a form of cold cash, or it can be done as rewards. We do have some people on our platform that has used their reward money uh, and saved it up, and uh, some of them wanted you know have done it because of Christmas or saving up for a rainy day and, and that's entirely up to you as a rider driver or just an influencer uh, so the easiest way to do something like that would be to get on our platform and ride local gr.com go ahead and download the pick me app uh, your invite code would be your first name and the four last digits of your phone number so if you tell people to put that in there then we know how to allocate the certain of your rewards or the cold cash now you share to family and friends in a promo drop down in your app. You download the Pick Me app. Um, on there, there's a hamburger, hamburger drop down menu. In the drop down menu, it will have an area that'll say promo. If you hit that, it'll enable you to share a, a referral to your friends and family just through email. So as long as you know their email and stuff, you can go ahead and share it. And then obviously, if they use your invite code and do it or just track it through your invite code when you share it, uh, you'll get credit for it and so on. You can start uh, becoming an influencer and start earning extra cash, you know, on the side. Maybe maybe to take your wife out or maybe just to go out for a weekend that you haven't been out for a while. But regardless of what your reason or your why is, it'll give you everybody an opportunity to do that, whether you ride with us, whether you drive for us, or whether you just want to support us. So uh, anyhow, Dawn, uh, we went through a lot tonight, uh, especially, uh, you know, bringing the drivers together. That's not an easy task to do it. I think we had like 13 drivers at the meeting, which was, to me, a good feeling of uh, a different type of ideas and uh, what they wanted out of a platform. Uh, do you have anything you want to add to it? or? I think you pretty much covered everything. Um... I just, I can't think of anything else. That, I think you covered it. Okay. All right. Well, I just want to close this kind of short tonight. I uh, appreciate everybody uh, uh, tuning in and uh, listening to what we had to do and that we brought back the platform of the driver's round table meeting. It's something that we wanted to do from the beginning is get the drivers collectively make decisions based on our company of Ride Local. We have done that. Um, just remember, everybody, every first ride for everybody is free. There's no cost to it, and we are claiming lower fares. So if you look at our fares, uh, normally on the average, you're looking at our fares being $2 cheaper per ride, per uh, whether it's Uber or Lyft. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead, and you can do that. You can get a hold of both of us at support at ridelocalgr.com. We welcome the comments. We welcome any type of uh, anything you want to share with us. Well, thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you again next week. And just remember, if you're on YouTube at the Driverpreneur channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe because that helps us. But also uh, hit the notification bell. And then as we release new videos, you'll be alerted. Anyhow, thanks a lot for tuning in. And we will see you at the top. Cool.